And voila, just like that, there's a fire. <laughs> I would say that my fire skills are getting better and better every time I do it. And it's just so much fun having a wood burning stove in here. It is sunny today. It's not like that cold. It's very humid today, very like wet and sticky. And if we don't have a fire for a couple of days, especially after like a really big rain, we notice that our clothes feel a little damp, our blankets feel a little damp. The floor feels damp, so we do a fire to dry it out in here. It is getting colder at night, so if we start the fire in the afternoon, then by the time, you know, we're inside and it's too dark to be outside, then the coals, you know, make it really warm in here, so, and it's really nice. And the cooktop will be warm enough and hot enough for us to cook dinner on, so that's always really nice to get it going now. Anyway, so... I did it again and I rearranged the yurt. I moved some things around. This yurt, like I said before, is just always changing. We're trying to figure out the feng shui of the yurt and um, what works best for us. And, you know, the longer we live here, we realize things that work and don't work. And we, you know, get some new furniture to make our lives a little bit easier and better. And, you know, we had to move a lot of things around when we, when we do that. So I wanted to give you guys a little yurt update again. Um, and, um, I love, 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 love the new space. It's our bedroom. I rearranged our bedroom around and it's just so nice, so much more functional for Jake and I. So with that being said, let's just head on over there and show you. It's just right there. Oh, a little sneak peek. <laughs> okay, come on. So here is the wood stove. If you just pan just a little bit, there's our bed. So our bed has moved many, many different times, and um, I am just really digging this spot, especially during the winter. It's going to be really nice because the wood stove is right there. We have our drying rack and one of the dog kennels. Um, Kai sleeps right there. He loves sleeping next to me, and we have our bed. You guys seen me paint the nightstand blue. I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to do something really cool to it. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like here in this space. And yeah. So I'm absolutely loving the way that this area is turning out. And it's so nice being close to the wood stove. We can see it when we're sitting here and we can hear it and feel the warmth from it. And it's so nice, it's kind of romantic. So underneath the loft is kind of dark. So I chose the color yellow to kind of make it seem brighter <laughs> underneath here with the blue and we got a new dresser uh, the other one that jake and i had before we actually um found for free in a parking garage so and it was just breaking down it was falling apart so we we're like okay it's time to get a new one and this is so nice it matches so well and um, it does this where it slides which is really cool um we have our clothes here and in there, so we share this. Um, Jake gets a couple drawers and I get a couple drawers, so. And then we have this, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. It's, <laughs> you put it at your, the foot of your bed. Um, it's like a little comfy couch, I guess, but it also doubles as storage. Living here in a yurt, there's no like built-in closets or anything, so, you know, it's like a little tiny home. So if we can get as much storage as possible, <laughs> and then we do. So this is just really, really nice. Um, I like it a lot, so this is new. And this bad boy right here. And we have this awesome swing, which I think is one of my favorite features here in the year. If you guys remember a couple of episodes back, I actually built um, my own swing and we had it here. Um, I just moved that outside. I felt, like, I felt like it was more of an outside swing. So that is outside on the front porch and I use it all the time. But this is so nice, Jake and I love sitting in this at the end of the day 
reading a book and um, it's just super nice because you can like turn this way you got the view of a beautiful fire and you got like the whole yurt in front of you you can see the front door it's super comfy and I just love swings so much so this is like a cross between a swing and a hammock together and boom you have this so this is really nice okay that's it bye no, I'm just kidding. I still have a couple things to show you guys. Okay, so here's the bedroom like I just showed you. And then if we pan to the right, we have our closet space. Um, so it's kind of like a really nice walk-in closet. I'm not done yet. I still want to add a couple of baskets and organize a couple of things but this is just super nice. This is just turning into a really nice area compared to what we've had before. And here's our mirror. Hey guys. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the angle looking from, you know, the closet to the bedroom. So beautiful. So our loft, we are still using as storage. We pretty much just store all of our extra food up there. Uh, dry goods, canned foods, um, flour, pasta, stuff like that because it stays really dry up there. And then there's just a couple of boxes too, like yearbooks and, and stuff. So um, it's really nice because it just keeps a lot of things dry up there and it doesn't um, collect mold if it's like down on the ground. So the loft just came in handy for that reason. <laughs> I have to show you one more thing that I'm really, really excited about. So if we turn this way, we have a refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, I am so excited to finally have a refrigerator. Obviously, a pretty small one. I'm taller than it. I will be totally and completely honest with you guys. Jake and I haven't had a refrigerator since we've been here. And that is, you know, almost two years. A lot of people ask, how do you keep your stuff cold? During the winter, it's really nice because, you know, it's cold here. It gets to about refrigerator temperature, honestly. So, and we just have the wood stove. So where the kitchen's at... It's the complete opposite of the room of the wood stove, so the food stayed pretty cool. And during the summer, you know, we would just make sure that we would eat the food really fast. Like if we were to open a sauce or something, we'd be like, hey, here's a sauce that's open, you know, let's let's eat it up or use it, you know, as quickly as possible. And it's it's worked pretty well, honestly. We haven't really had the need to have a refrigerator that bad. If we lived in Arizona, obviously we'd have to have a refrigerator because it's really, really hot there. So, But here it stays pretty cool. It doesn't really get that hot so but we did still need a refrigerator and there's something else about this refrigerator uh we can't plug it in yet so it's just storage right now <laughs> we're in the process of still downing a bunch of trees for our solar system which we have everything we need to hook up this solar system solar panels everything we just don't have enough sunlight so you know, we're just, it's just the two of us and we're trying to down as much trees as possible. But we got it, which is nice. Jake will have to tell you all the specs on it because I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's the lowest wattage refrigerator that we could possibly find. But Jake will have to give you all the specs on that. But it's it's a cute little fridge and I love it and it's so nice. So I'll give you guys a close up of the fridge here. So we can't close the fridge because obviously it's not on and we don't want things to get warm in there. So we leave it open, which is really bizarre and weird and on the fridge we have all of our magnets every place that jake and i go and visit for the first time we always um get a magnet uh, which i love that we do that so these are all the places that we've been to around the world and we can't wait to keep adding to the collection so we just got to fill this bad boy up 